Are your hutches and tables lined up along your walls like they're about to start a kick line in a Disney film? Then we should talk. I'm Doug Walker, and this is Roominess. Today we're going to talk about storage pieces and how best to fit them into your rooms. If you'd like to get more bite-sized interior decor advice from my channel, hit the subscribe button. You can connect with me about storage units on the web, on Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. There are links to those below. Feel free to leave a comment there too. It's a common problem I see in rooms. People have stuff, and stuff needs stored. So we have bookcases, bureaus, and high boys, tables, hutches, and armoires lining our walls. Let me be clear, I don't have any problem with these pieces of furniture. If they are functional, they appear finished, and they're in proportion with their location, then they're an absolute asset to your spaces. What becomes problematic is when storage pieces are lined up along one wall next to each other. If they don't relate to each other in some way, then they can appear like a furniture store. There are lots of options for storage unit locations. Let's see which ones could work for your space. First, divide and conquer. Wherever possible, put your storage units on separate walls. If they have to occupy the same wall, then find a way to separate them. You can split around a window, separate them with a screen, statue, vase, urn, plant, or vertical element. You can also split around art. Create a sense of balance using your storage units. This can help emphasize the axis of the room that we talked about in an earlier episode. You space your storage units away from that axis on either side of the room so that they balance one another. Similarly, if you have a doorway at one end of a wall, a tall storage piece on the other end can help balance it. The more two pieces of furniture look alike without matching, the more they need to be separated. Close proximity will highlight their differences, and they will appear to clash. In general, try to keep your storage units away from the corners of your room, unless you can create a built-in look. As with many decor guidelines, the idea is to keep the eye from going to the corner of the room. Here's a rule of thumb. Keep as far away from the corner as the depth of the storage piece. If another storage piece is on the adjacent wall, it should be two to three feet away so it doesn't appear to cramp the space of the first cabinet. So what if you simply must line up your storage pieces? You simply don't have enough room to allow room between them. Whenever you can, try to use a single storage unit that is large enough for all of your storage needs and appropriately fits in your space. I know, that's often not possible. You may have to get creative. You want to increase the sense that these pieces go together and decrease the sense that they're a hodgepodge. Finishes that don't quite match are typically not good to place next to one another. They don't match exactly, but they don't provide enough contrast to appear that they coordinate. Can you paint one or more of the pieces? Or decoupage over it, even temporarily. Perhaps cover one with a tablecloth, or even upholster it. If you use a loose tablecloth, I recommend that you tailor it to your storage piece. This will make it look like the tablecloth was intended, rather than an afterthought. Plus, if you use removable panels, then you can more easily access your storage. Upholstered storage pieces can provide a unique contrast of color and texture in a space. If you have two storage pieces of the same style, and one in a different style, try splitting the matching set around the non-matching. Creating symmetry will make it look intentional. See how rearranging this wall creates a centered look, emphasizing the axis of the room. Hopefully this gave you a new way to look at your storage pieces, and how you might arrange them to give your rooms a more cohesive look. If you'd like to hear more about interior decor, hit the subscribe button. Leave me your questions in the comments below. You can get on my email list at roominesstv.com. Thanks for watching.